What we know about activities and experiences like National Youth Science Day is that they can lead young people down a path that they hadn't even thought about before. National Youth Science Day this year is centered around wearable technology and the youth will be designing their own fitness tracker using some very simple and low-cost components. Wearable technology is a great space for youth and education because it really combines a lot of different areas. For instance, you have technology, you have computer programming, um, circuitry, but then also you have that aesthetic. So it's really a personal expression about the artifact that you're creating. One of the strengths of the 4-H program is its hands-on nature. We make sure that young people are really engaged in the learning process, so it's the learning by doing model. And though that makes common sense to people, it's not something we always do when we have learning experiences. Something that I love to tell students is that engineers test things to failure all the time because that's how you really know what the limits are. And so helping students see failure as a positive thing, something that it should be celebrated and should be an experience to learn from, is really an important aspect of Incredible Wearables. Just being here today has really opened my eyes and I really appreciated just working with other people and just be able to learn things about technology and engineering and what it could do to help people in their lives today. I am a type 1 diabetic and it's just so much work to check your blood and to give yourself insulin and shots and it would be awesome if I could just like put in what I had in, my, in the pump and it gives it to me and like you don't have to ever check your blood, it does all that for you and someday hopefully they actually do that. One of the kids today, um, you know, was kind of um, like, oh, like, it's kind of big, it's kind of bulky at first, like, ah, this is kind of like, come on, like, this is a wearable. And then after they had built it, and I said, you need to track an activity, you need to track a movement, he was like, okay, I'm ready. Like, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, what he needed to change from iteration one to two. And that's, that's really cool to see that passion and like, okay, I can solve this problem. So we've built that, we've scaffolded it enough to give them some background skill and confidence and some self-efficacy to attack the problem. And so it's really, it's beautiful.